Straight drop. Over the middle. It's uh -oh. picked off. Intercepted. That's Johnson, the linebacker. And the first big blow is delivered by Penn State. Marker down. Handler in motion. He'll keep it. Nice. Touchdown. Sean Clifford. Well, not bad way to start your road schedule. Third down and nine. Clifford looking for Hamler. He's got it. There goes KJ. He jitterbugs free. There goes KJ for a payday. Penn State, four offensive stops, two touchdowns. Men, whatever the case may be, make them decide. Jackson for the corner. Oh. Intercepted again. Tyreek Castro feels. Right now. Twin tight ends. They go to Slade. It's in there. Touchdown. Hmm. That was too easy. Yeah, that was like stealing. Second and two. Little yeah. curl pattern to the tight end. That's Bowers. It's touchdown. You only got 20 hours a week to, to, to be with him, to teach him those techniques on top it, of that. It's a streak down the sidelines. Is it picked? Yep. It may be. Yes. Yes. That is Nick Cross who came into the game at safety. And he's set up. Third and five. Nice Little dump job. right there. That's Journey Brown. Down the sidelines, touchdown. Runs as fast as he runs. It's like adding an additional 10 pounds to your body. Stood up there, but moves forward, gets the ball across the inline for the touchdown. Touchdown does count. 11 total yards for Penn State. Wow. Look at that. Levis will mm. waltz in. Oh, he saw his teammate earlier on a similar run, headed in the same direction. All right, Coach, your quarterback, Sean Clifford, only five incompletions tonight, 398 yards. What would you make of the way that he managed this game? I was just really pleased with how composed and how poised he was, how he had a really good understanding of coverage and blitz, did a great job with our protections, did a great job seeing rotation, finding open receivers. They just played really well on the road, Big Ten against a really good opponent. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned being on the road, Big Ten game. You had a lot at stake with this one. What would you make of the way that your guys completely dismantled them? Well, I don't know about that, but we played a really good team, and our guys competed like crazy. I thought we played excellent on defense. The first team, the second team, the third team, guys all went in and executed at a really high level. Um, I'm really pleased with the improvement we made this week on third down. we got to keep building that. Sounds good. Thanks very much, Coach. Thanks, brother. In, in the pregame show, though, you talked about Penn State and the <laughs> questions about this program, trying to move on from Trace McSorley and everything he did for this program yep. from that quarterback spot. Well, you know, how about what uh, Mr. Clifford did today, moving up the record books, third most passing yards in program history today, and he does it on the road in a night game. The, and James Franklin, you heard him talk about the poise and the composure, and, and that's a tough environment. We can laugh about it, but still, that, that crowd and this team was ready to play, and I'll tell you what, he was efficient. And the thing I love about the most, he just found his open receivers. He found guys, he put the ball up, let them go make plays. The, the game that K.J. Hamler had tonight, we know they have a lot of speed. They have a lot of different weapons, but the 450 yards of total offense, uh, four touchdowns. I mean, he was incredible tonight, Brady, and I just think – to bounce back after that game against Pitt in the way he played against Pitt, um, this is what they need from him every single week if they're going to compete in the Big Ten. Yeah, it was a wake-up call versus yeah. Pitt, right? I mean, it really was for this team if they're going to compete in that division. And I think the things that you heard James Franklin say after the game, seeing rotation, handling the protections, those are things that you didn't yep. see Penn State, in particular Sean Clifford, do. And he did a much better job of tonight in particular on third down, not that they needed third down. They had so much production right. first and second down. But still, that's going to bode well for them moving forward. I mean, and Reggie, as I look at this team, if they can play the way they did tonight, yeah. 
I, I do think they can compete with Ohio State. I don't know that Ohio State's really been tested either, nor does Penn State for that mm-hmm. matter. Uh, but it will be interesting to see as these both these two teams grow, yeah. you know, how much closer they, they kind of become together. Because I, I do think there are some, some similarities between the two teams and their style of play. Yeah, yeah and, and today was a really good bounce back win for, for Penn State, even though they didn't lose the last week to it Pitt. It felt like it. It felt like it, yeah. right? Because they really got outplayed. Um, one of the things that I wanted to see from this Penn State offense was them protecting the quarterback and just doing a better job at that. I thought they did that. We didn't, didn't see as many missed assignments, missed protections, right? They, they kind of cleaned all of that up. And then they played complimentary football on all phases. So those are the things that I like that I saw that they did well. Um, this is a good win for them. I'm not quite sure yet if they're ready for Ohio State, but we're going to find out pretty soon.